We're now going to uh, make our own uh, trait that uh, actually does something. But just before that, I wanted to show you uh, one uh, one cool thing that I forgot to mention last video, which is that uh, when you implement display, it gives you this uh, this trait called to string for free. And we've uh, we've been using to string all the time. You know, we take a a, a stir and uh, attach this uh, to string method to it, and it makes a string. And it actually recommends if you want uh, something to make a string, the best way to do it is uh, just implement display and you get this uh, two string implementation for free. So that is um, that is why this is now po possible with our uh, with our regimental uh, variable, which is a cat. We can um, we can print uh, you know this many you know how long how many characters is this? We can say this many characters. And we can take uh, just do a Mr. Mantle to string because we have this method, and we learned this before. You do uh, chars and count, which turns everything into a character, and then it counts and tells you how many there are. So you can see, uh, um, there you go. It is 68 characters, and uh, so that is one of the other conveniences of uh, implementing display, is you can make strings for free. So that is. Uh, that is all I wanted to say there, and now we are going to finally make a um, a real trait that kind of uh, does some things, and so we are going to go with the uh, the role playing game idea because I always find that much more fun. So we're going to uh, imagine we have uh, we have monsters, we have uh, wizards. Uh, we're not going to put anything in there and rangers and uh, put nothing in there as well and then we are going to uh, think of a trait and you know some of these uh, some of these characters in our imaginary game are going to be able to fight close so like if you're one square away then you can uh, you know fight and uh, and damage your opponent and so uh, then we put some some functions into here so we are going to say if you have the trait fight close you can uh, attack with sword, and that will take a uh, a reference to self, and then the opponent will be a mutable monster, and it's mutable because we are going to reduce the monster's health. So you say opponent dot health minus equals ten, because when you attack with a sword, you always take ten damage. Right now, we're not doing uh, random functions yet. Uh, you attack with your sword. Your opponent has something, something health left. And then we're going to put in opponent dot health. And uh, let's see. So that is our attack with sword function. Um, don't forget that. And um, by the way, the reason why we can do opponent dot health is because opponent is a, uh, a definite monster and monster has health but uh, in a trait you can't just say like uh, you know self dot health uh, you know plus equals 10 that's um, there's no guarantee that uh, that a type implementing uh, implementing this fight close trait is going to have uh, it's going to have this uh, field called health so let's see if it uh, it. yeah so there it is it gets uh, gets angry at us no field health on type self and that makes sense so uh, you know for the meantime we're just going to do this and uh, well, let's see what else attack with hand actually I'm going to uh, I'm going to copy and paste this one in because it's uh, basically the same so attack with hand is uh, Exactly the same. Mutable monster. We need to reduce uh, the monster's health. Uh, health minus two because hands are not as uh, damaging as, uh, as swords are. And that is our trait. So our trait is uh, is done, and we're going to give it to implement fight close for wizard. And what do we have to do? Nothing. It's um it's easy because. Uh, we have the uh, the function definite or the method definition, and we have all of the uh, the logic in here. So there's nothing for us to do. So 
for uh, Ranger. We'll give it to Ranger as well. And now they are able to use these functions. And then we'll do another trait, fight from distance. And this will be for uh, things like bows, attack with bow. And uh, you know, Rangers are going to use this. Uh, opponent is also going to be a mute monster. And here we're going to have a distance, which is a U32, because we need to check, are you close enough to, to attack with your bow? So we enter the distance, and if it's less than, uh, less than 10, then you are able to damage your monster. And uh, we, then we print that out. And we'll say you attack with your bow. Your opponent has something, something health left. And then we uh, print the opponent.health. And uh, there we go. That is the way that works. And then we will also uh, attack with rock. And rocks are not as strong and uh, not as... Uh, they don't go as far as bows, so we, uh, let's format that. So we have uh, basically the same thing, uh, except uh, if distance is uh, less than three, then uh, you can uh, damage your opponent and uh, it only goes down by four. And so who's going to get that? Well, we are going to give fight from distance for ranger. Uh, so only, uh, only rangers have bows and I don't know, only rangers can throw rocks, I guess. And uh, so that is uh, good. So now, so now ranger has, uh, has implemented two things. Uh, wizard has uh, implemented only one thing. Uh, we haven't done any magic yet. We're not going to. And then uh, let's make some, uh, some characters. So Radagast is a wizard and wizards have a, uh, nothing so uh, we're putting nothing in and we're going to do the same thing we're going to say Aragorn and he is a ranger like that and then they have a opponent called uh, he's an Urukai which is like a tough orc so he is a monster and he has 40 health and then we're going to uh, attack him so attack with sword We'll say Radagast has a sword. And so, uh, you know, there's the, there's the method right there. So we can just do dot attack with sword. He has this uh, power now. And we put in a mutable Rukai because we need to take his health down. And same thing with Aragorn. We're going to attack with bow. And actually, let's say uh, distance equals... Uh, yeah, Aragorn is 10 or eight, uh, eight squares away. So we're going to mute look high and then eight or distance like that. So let's hope this works. And there you go. Uh, you attack with your sword. Your opponent has 30 health left. You attack with your bow. Your opponent has 20 health left. And if we change the distance to 18, it should, uh, do something here and do nothing here and uh, that has worked uh, flawlessly so that is a uh, you know this is still a very very simple trait but you can see how you just um, you give them all these uh, all these cool methods and if you have everything written out all you have to do is say implement trait name for you know name of struct or enum and uh, open and close the brackets and you're done and now they have uh, all those functions methods, I mean.